Maybe we should tell them. Look, guys, if there's something going to not. Hang on. Wait. I was hoping I'd run into you. I think you and I need to have a little chat. My retirement package. You, you said you'd have it ready by the time we got back. What am I getting? Nothing. My new lawyer discovered some discrepancies with the books. You're setting me up. This, this will never stick. My lawyer's a very smart woman, Thomas. But my retirement package. Sandra and I will have nothing. That was Sandra Finer, Thomas Finer's wife. And apparently he's in hospital. He's just tried to take his own life. The discrepancies I found in the books, the ones that made Thomas Finer look like a criminal, you put them there to frame him and you used me to find them. You can take that as my resignation. Oh, no, 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 I better not because I'll just get drunker and keep going That's on. Fine. Sometimes you need to just let it all out. Marcus, what are you doing? Can you remember the things we used to do? I'll draw your picture, send a message to the moon. Wake up. Peter! Peter, wake up! What did you do to her? We drank too much. Oh, yeah, and then what? And I know you guys have been having a problem. What did you do? I don't do? want to get involved Just in... tell me what happened! I think you should talk to her. I don't know. Have you talked to her? She was too drunk. She wouldn't even wake up. So you haven't even spoken with her? Well, maybe it's not as bad as you think. What else could it be? Well, it's not like you caught them red-handed. I mean, maybe he was helping her get into bed. But I spoke to Marcus. And he said they spent the night together? Not exactly. Well, what did he say, Poppy? He said... He said he knew we'd been having problems and I should talk to Peter first. Well, that could mean anything. But if nothing happened, then why wouldn't he just come out and say it? He's her ex-husband, Tracy. They've got this bond and this history. And if she got really angry at me and got really drunk, then she could have... Hey, do you really think anything could have happened? Well, that's the thing. I don't... I don't know what I think. I'm doubting everybody and everything. <laughs> hey, Poppy. Mm. Remember how I ran away from the reception? Mm. Well, I just found out that Jared met up with Beck at 3 a.m. in the morning at some hotel after the reunion. What? As soon as I heard that, all my insecurities about Beck came flooding out, and I thought that Jared had cheated on me. But he'd never do that. I know. It was a misunderstanding, but at the time, I was convinced. Guess what I'm trying to say, babe, is that you need to be certain. You have to talk to Peter, okay? Okay. Okay. I'm in. Hey, Pops, if you want to stay here tonight, you can crash in here with Tracy, all right? I'll set up a Lila and Zoe's room. No, 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 maybe I should go home. No, you're staying here. Mm -hmm. Get a proper night's sleep. Mm -hmm. I love you. <laughs> Everything will seem better in the morning. <laughs> Thanks, guys. <laughs> you stick this up behind the bar? Oh, yeah, who's that? Angus McKinnon, otherwise known as Tiger. I believe your son Jared knew him. 
Oh, uh, no, this is the Angus McKinnon I'm thinking of. He went to school with Ada, not Jared. Yeah, right, right. Thanks for that. I better get moving. All right, any time. Hey. Hey. What did he want? Oh, they're looking at this bloke. Angus McKinnon. You remember him? Uh, vaguely, yeah. Oh, uh, Wilson just thought you might know him, that's all. Why's that? I think he's got you mixed up with Ada. Hey, how's Poppy? What? Poppy. How is she? Yeah, no, she's fine, I think. Um, she was having breakfast with Trace when I left, so... Well, I hope she's going to be OK. Yeah, I think she'll be fine. Thought I heard you groaning. What are you doing here? I carried you home, remember? Crashed down on the couch. Hmm? Where's Poppy? Yeah, I'm a bit worried about that. What do you mean? I think she got the wrong idea about you and I. Yeah, she uh, came home just after I put you to bed. That's ridiculous. Yeah, I know, but uh, she got really upset and uh, and ran off. Well, why didn't you stop her? Well, I hardly had a chance. Well, hey. Hey, Paul. Come on. There's nothing going on between us. I asked you straight out what happened and you didn't even try to deny it. I was pretty out of it. You seemed all right to me. Marcus, I think maybe you should go. Are we sure? OK. I'll call you later. Nothing happened. If nothing happened, then why did he let me believe that it had? Well, I don't know. He was drunk, I guess. Was that drunk? Well, why do you even care about him? I only care about us. Then why did you walk out on me yesterday? That's what started all of this. Because you were lecturing me about Deborah. You deserved it. Well, I needed some time on my own. Oh, so you ran to Marcus? It wasn't like that. So how was it? OK, you're right. I shouldn't have walked out on you yesterday and I shouldn't have called Marcus. But most of all, I should have listened to you in the first place and never taken the job for Deborah McManus because that's what started all this anyway. I thought I was smart. You're not saying anything. I'm sorry too. Yesterday was a terrible day for you and I didn't give you any sympathy. I was too angry. You had every right to be. I know. But listen to me. And I'm not just being crazy or paranoid. Marcus wasn't that drunk last night. He knew exactly what he was doing. And he wanted me to believe that you'd spent the night together. Well, why would he do that? I don't know. But I don't trust him. I don't think you should either. You too. I'm going to get a fire hose onto you in a second. You're grossing out the customers. I'm sorry. I just can't get my hands off you. Then don't worry, OK? We're about to leave anyway. Oh, right. So you found a hotel with day rates, did you? No. We're actually going shopping, aren't we? I mean, she needs a new bag. A very special bag. <laughs> don't know. She won't tell me either. Come on. Let's get out of here. All righty. All righty. I'll just get some disinfectant and wipe down the chair, will I? Yeah, hilarious, Davy. Very funny. I wasn't trying to be funny, Addy. <laughs> Bye, Jared. Hey. Bye, Jared. Hello. It's me. Tiger. What do you want? Have you seen the posters? Cops have put my picture up all over town. Yeah, I've seen them. They're out to get me. No one's out to get you, Tiger. I want to see you. We need to talk. When? Now! Meet me at the lookout. All right. All right, I'll be waiting. Ah, oh, thanks for meeting me. As if I wouldn't after everything that's happened. Hey, get me something to drink. Mineral water for me, thanks. Yeah, make that too. No uh, wine? Don't even go there. So, um, how's Poppy? Yeah, good. I mean, we argued and we yelled, but I think everything's back on track now. I'm so glad. Yeah. Listen, there is one thing that I do have to clear up with you. Poppy was adamant that you wanted her to think that we'd spent the night together because you didn't openly deny it. Yeah, no, I didn't, but I mean, everything happened so fast. 
I'd never do it on purpose. So why would she think that you did? Well, I don't know. I mean, she was pretty angry, and we both know she doesn't like me. Yeah, but she wouldn't make something like that up. No, of course she wouldn't. I'm just saying maybe her feelings coloured her perceptions. I mean, honestly, Pete, why would I do something like that? There's, there's no point. That's what I said. I know. I have no reason to hurt Poppy or you. I know. It's just that the last time I didn't listen to her, it was about Deborah, and look where that got me. Have you heard from her at all? No. Why would I? I quit. I just got the impression Deborah was the kind of person who wouldn't give you up without a fight. No, I think she knows that I'm never going back. There you go. Thank you, Ron. She was right about one thing, though. Thomas Finer was blackmailing her. Did you go and see him at the hospital? Mm-hmm. Didn't take much to get it out of him. He's actually quite an emotional wreck. Yeah, and not as innocent as he said he was. Yeah, but he's a victim of Deborah's manipulation. He's been doing her dirty work for 15 years. I was only doing it for a few months. Well, you're both out of it now. I know. It's just... I hate the fact that she can get away with it. And I, I just wish I could do something about it. about time. Just tell me what you want. I'm leaving town. Where are you going? Don't know. But I can't get anywhere without any cash. And that's where you come in. I need five grand. What? Hey, mate, listen. For what I know and can tell, that is a pretty cheap rate. Told you everything would be okay. You just need to talk to Peter. Yeah, it feels like we're finally back on track. Mm, I know exactly what you mean. <laughs> So, even though things are fine with Jared, do you still feel weird around Beck? Well, I never really feel at ease around her, but I know it's just my jealousy talking. Well, that's the thing. I'm not jealous of Marcus. I just hate him. I hope you haven't told Peter that. No, but she knows what I think. I even got her to talk to him about last night. Mm, do you think that's a good idea? Well, look, if he's trying to come between us, I want him to know that I'm onto him. Do you really think he's trying to come between you two? There's just something about him, Tracy. You're brilliant, you know that? No, oh, don't thank me, Anne. She might not go for it. I think we're about to find out. Mrs. Fine, I thank you so much for coming. I know it's a very difficult time. Please have a seat. Thank you. So, what's this about? We want to get Thomas the settlement that he deserves. From Deborah McManus? That's never going to happen. We believe it can. Marcus Taylor, I'm uh, also a lawyer, and if you and your husband agree, both Peter and I are willing to take this on. We can't afford any lawyers. We're not interested in money. Deborah used me as much as she used your husband, so this is about retribution for all of us. But it's not without risk. Considering that Thomas isn't entirely innocent, there is a chance he could go to jail. It's not enough that he's lying in a hospital bed. He broke the law. But we're not going to let Deborah get away with it either. She needs to know that she can't do this to people. So what do you plan to do? Five grand? Well, I wouldn't ask if I didn't need to. What's it for? New bathroom fittings for the new house. Um, I kind of made a few executive decisions without telling Tracy. Uh, um, let me guess, you'd like to uh, keep it that way. Yeah. So can you help? Well, I don't like to get involved in marital money matters, but um, if you really need it, yeah, yeah, you can have it. Great. We can go down the bank now if you like. I'm pretty much done here. Thanks, Dad. And look, I'll pay you back as soon as I can, all right? Yeah, whatever. Just don't ask again. All right. Thanks. I thought you'd finished with me. Not quite. And who's this? Marcus Taylor. I'm a legal associate of Peter's. Another lawyer? Should I be nervous? That depends. On what? On how reasonable you're willing to be. Perhaps we should discuss this inside. Good idea. Now, what is this all about? We've just come from a meeting with Sandra Finer. And it was decided that you should pay Thomas the retirement bonus he originally asked for. Plus an additional amount for needlessly causing pain and suffering. The exact amount specified here. 
You've got to be kidding. We think it's extremely reasonable, considering the number of years and the nature of the work Mr. Finer did for you. That man deserves nothing from me. He's prepared to go to jail for this. And then he's a fool. Not really, considering that I know that you set him up and I'd be willing to testify to that. You do, and your career will be over. Any conversations we had while you were in my employ were confidential. That doesn't always apply in the case of fraud. The Law Society may not see it that way. Either way, I don't care. You're bluffing. Yeah? Try me. People are nothing to you, Deborah. Except objects of opportunity. You bleed them dry. You take everything they have, even if it's just their dignity. You use them, you spit them out and you move on. Not anymore. Not while I can do something about it. I advise you to consider options wisely. A court case like this could do significant damage to your businesses. What's he done? We just need to talk to him. Is it to do with Philby? You know I can't tell you that. So it is to do with Philby. Will you just put the thing on the wall? Hey, you know me, detective? Always thrilled to help out the boys in blue. Hey, what can I get you, buddy? Uh, do you have any uh, dim sims? No, we've only got real food here. How about a meat pie? We've got gourmet pies. You want to try one of those? What's in them? Changes daily. I'll just check. Hey, hey, come on. I saw that. Hey, boy, get back here. Think I'm an idiot? Come on, hand that over. And the rest? Don't you just love it? I do. I'm happy if you're happy, Em. I haven't been this happy since... I can't even remember when. Hey, you know, I, I never really apologised for the way I treated you. I told you, forget about that. Yeah, but it's been weighing on my conscience. Sweetie, you stood up in front of a crowd of strangers and declared your love for me. Who cares what happened before that? All right. Just concentrate on the future then, hey? As long as I'm in it. I am, aren't I? Oh, yeah. Mm. 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 Oh, it's you. Hello? Yeah, okay. Okay, I'll be right there. Is everything okay? Um, it was one of the girls from the tanning salon. It, what happened? There's been a problem with one of the machines. I'm going to have to go. Oh, can't they fix it? They're hopeless. I'll talk to you in a bit, OK? OK. Mm. See ya. You're lucky I didn't call the cops. Oh, why didn't you? Because I would hate to see a kid your age end up with a criminal record. It's too late for that. Oh, you do this a lot, do you? I'm sure your mother's very proud. Where is she anyway? I don't know. Well, did you call her like I asked you to? I did. Give me your phone. I want to check. If you're looking for Otto, I haven't seen him. I haven't come for Otto. You're his mum. How come you're not at your father's place? He wanted to clean out his shed. I was bored. Oh, so you decided to go shoplifting instead? I didn't have any money and I was just home. I just can't wait outside. But I didn't. Just go. I'll be out in a minute to take you home. I'm so sorry about this. Does that know that you have a kid? Don't you think he's got a right to know? I haven't found the right moment to tell him. Well, you should have told him the moment that you met him. It never came up. You should have brought it up. It's not that easy, Stava. Yes, it is. You just say to him, I've got a son, and that's it, over and done with. Yeah. And watch him instantly lose interest in me. That's what most blokes do. I don't think I just like that. Well, I don't think so either, but I just love him so much. I really don't want to lose him. Well, if you keep lying to him, you will lose him. Well, I don't want to lie. I just need more time to feel confident with it. Please, Starver. Don't say anything. I promise I'll tell him soon.
What about the look on Thomas's face when we gave him the check today? It was so good. Hey, how's the look on Deborah's face when she wrote it? Yeah. <laughs> so, is Marcus Taylor your new name? No, I just, uh, I didn't want people to know that we had history. I'm here. Oh, yay! Hi. <laughs> have a seat, have a seat. So, what did you want to tell me? We went to see Deborah today. Oh, that's scary. Only for her. Marcus came up with this great plan to make her pay Thomas. And she did. Yeah, we gave her no choice. Oh, that's great. Yeah, it made me feel so much better. I was hoping maybe I could buy us a little dinner. Have a mini celebration that everything's good. Oh, that's a really nice idea, Marcus, but I actually promised Gabby I'd be home for dinner. She's cooking, so... Maybe another time, then. Uh, drink, anyone? I'm fine. Oh, I'm right as well, thanks. Are you sure you can't stay for dinner? I'm sorry, baby, I promised Gab. But she wouldn't mind if you cancelled. And he's making such an effort to make up with you. Oh, so he admitted he did something wrong last night? Well, I mean, he said that he did give you the wrong impression, but he didn't do it deliberately. And you believed him? Well, I mean, he was drunk and you were angry, so I think the truth is somewhere in between. And you should have seen him with Deborah today. It was so awesome. I couldn't have done it without him. Well, I'm really glad you sorted everything out, honey, but I, I really should get going. Sorry. Oh, okay. I won't be late. Bye. And it won't be drunk, I promise. <laughs> You're not fair. I'll give you half the cash now. You tell me what you know, I'll give you half the cash afterwards. No, give it to me now. Where's the money? Touch me, mate. What? What? 